hello everyone welcome to the cadence tutorial so now we are going to draw a layout of a cache code or basically rf cache code which is a part of lna so for that uh, to begin with i'll start with new and then cell view in this i will select i will give it a name and select layout from here and then press ok so this window will pop up uh, before going here i would like you to watch the previous video on layout there i have explained few important parameters to begin with the layout that thing will make the task easier and will give you the systematic approach to go with layout anyway so we are going to draw a uh, cache code so first i instantiate the rf mos for that i press i and then browse it and then i'll uh, go to the rf devices and then i am going to draw this thing rf no dnw layout of this and then i can give the sizes here so what i want to draw a 54 micrometer device so for that i am keeping a finger width of 1.5 micrometer so the number of fingers will be 9 so why 9 because i am dividing this uh, layout into 4 so 54 divided by 4 and then divide by 1.5 that will bring me 9 fingers ok so why I am doing so because by doing this I will get the F max and it uh, also reduces the resistance and there are many reasons so let me draw a one MOS structure with the 4 multiple so first I'll draw the one and then I'll clean the DRC for one then I'll make it to four. The combination of these four will be one MOS. So let's see how it works. So first I need to flatten this because I cannot access the internal layers until or unless I will not flatten this. So select it, go to edit and then hierarchy, then flatten. Select the P cell and then OK. Now I can access these things. So I'll select, move it out. Okay, so this uh, layer will be useful for us. So here, let's understand this first. So this one is P well, and in P well, we have poly. So these are poly. These the corner one are dummy poly, not connected. And the either sides are source and drain. So this one uh, will be drain, we connect it to the drain and this one will connect it to the source. Okay, so uh, here if you li would like to understand the layers, so OD is here, this layer is OD and then PO, poly layer which uh, will provide you the gate and then PP, P will After that, let's see CO. This, these are the vias. These these are up to M1, up to metal one. And then metal one drawing. So metal one is connected here. And then PA1. VA1 is from metal one to metal two. So I click on this left hand side and see it has reached up to metal two. Okay, and then metal two. And then VA2, so VA2 is also there. VA2 is there only in source side. We are calling it source. M3, top of that M3 is there. So M3 is running here and here. So here M3 is to connect all the sources and this the drains are connected to M2 so that's why they are not connected together they are separated with one layer with one level actually 
so this is via 3 then again take it up this is m4 so basically the source is connected through m4 okay so this is the structure basically so let press m move it out so this will also be useful so what i'll do here i'll just remove this m4 what i'll do i'll raise the uh, source and drain side till m7 and then bring out the m7 this side and then we'll make the source and the drain and then this uh, thing is uh, I'll, I'll bring it down to m2 and then m2 to m9 i'll make the gate connection so th th this is this is the plan so let's see so this uh, deleted all right so i have drawn this thing i have modified as i was saying uh, these are m7 so i have raised the source side and drain side to till m7 so this one will be drain and this i consider as source so i have this is one and i have made another one and likewise i will make four and till now there is no drc here i have checked i can run the drc also so area space no drc is in that section other things we will compensate slowly gradually as we develop the layout so it's uh, kind of clean so what i'll do i'll just uh, raise it from m7 to m9 raise it till the top layer the top layer is m9 so o similar to, to this side and for gate if i if i raise it from m2 to m9 so there will be an error because uh, the m9 to m9 distance should be at least 2 micrometer so if i measure so it is just 0.05 micrometer so what i'll do i'll just make an m8 till here so that the distance from here till here is 2.1 and then i will uh, make the m9 so i'll do it so likewise i place it here as well okay and then m8 to m9 okay so i'll run the drc and see if any error is there so that's how you should do and then drc after significant drawing so we are having these error space error and area error so let me highlight it so it is saying that the metal width should be greater than 1.5 micrometer so we will debug this m2 so this error is related to m2 and then m9 also so first m9 area should be greater than 9 micrometer square so this area is not 9 micrometer and similarly second save run drc so that m9 area error has gone so only m2 spacing error is there so we will fix this also please take care of these both sides should be symmetric and then run the drc to check all right so that error has been removed now uh, now we will go ahead and make it to the complete moss after drawing this layout i will make it another moss also and then complete it with the uh, well and the dummy layer all right so here is the full layout this is the layout of a cascode moss one moss and another moss so this terminal is drain source 
these are gates and the body so we will uh, make the pin connection here so how to do that just click on pin and write the name gate gate gas and then source train body click on create labels go to the option then height uh, is one is fine and same as pin same as pin okay so first is gate cache so this is the cache code gate so i'll give the connection here and this uh, will be drawn with the, uh, m9 so i'll select m9 first and then we'll go with that m9 and then pin this is gate next turn is gate cache this is gate cache next turn is source drain and body so this is source and body the so body uh, i need to select m1 because this is m1 layer so m1 this is body so all the terminal got connected so now check the final uh, drc so these are free of area size and width error so these uh, density error and csr error can be minimized while we draw the layout for the whole chip so after that uh, we can do the lvs analysis and then we can generate the packs and and these things you can find out in other videos i have made so thanks for watching